viewers, welcome back to Mega Division The Kid of V2, Dragon Frank here, on the Golden Heart series. Now, I'm tired. Address to you has been arrived, Neptune. A parcel? Who from? It seemed to be a present from someone who learned of your efforts. Let me open it right away. Woohoo! I got a pretty cool equipment. I am happy for you, Neptune. Hey there, people star staring at the TV. Hello! It's time for the wallet question app. What program is this you ask? Come by and I will introduce the recommended product in a fun and familiar way. We'll make you go to bankrupt with our fun and happy product lineup. Heart. Now that Kofa said her enchanting catchphrase, here's our first item. Ta da! Expectation box. Nep, nep, what's inside of an expectation box? Wait, are you going to make me stick my hand and in there and introduce it? That's right. But don't worry, it's it's slimy and squirmy, but it won't bite and it's not poison. I never heard of having to do something so terrible. I'm leaving. I'm just totally joking. Jump star king. Huh? Sorry, Kampa. I just wanted to see your reaction a little. Thank goodness. I'm glad I don't have to touch anything weird. So, Nep-Nep, what's inside this expectation box? Just like the name implies, you won't know what to expect until you open it. Nep-Nep, I don't think anyone would buy an unknown item through mail order. If you sell them a bogus item, their customers will be flooded. Customers weren't that bad. Then please introduce the content they have to viewers. To be honest, I have no idea what come out of it when it's open. Huh? The contents are completely, ran completely random. So there might be a rare weapon, or it might be an item that makes you want to yell, GIVE ME BACK MY CREDITS! <laughs> In other words, only a higher being would know whether your luck would be good or bad. For offering this is a low price of 4,980 credits. Do you feel lucky? Then buy it now. I don't feel lucky at all. That's the end of our program. So today, bye bye. Anyway, what? Please excuse me, Lady Swar. She's asleep. Oh, whoop, looks like he's asleep. I'll come back later. Hmm. Your processor unit is complete. Production took some time, but in order to mitigate the previous gen bottleneck, we... Oh, he swore, you changed your hat. Hmm? Oh, yes, I modified my head part with leftover product materials. I feel my search function is three seconds faster. Wow. You look like a nurse, and it's super cute. Um, um, please allow me to continue my explanation. In addition to strengthening your leg and wing output, on the back of your waist, we have installed an, a luxury. There, the new hat is equipped. How is it? Does it look good? You are not listening at all, are you? And it's not a hat, it's a head part. Hey, yeah, this looks like... That, uh, this looks a lot like your new hat, is war. Yes, well, we're develop, develop at the same time. Um, to tell the truth, since I had the opportunity, I decided to make them with matching design. 
Yay, we're matching! So awesome! Thank you, Swar. Yes, of course. But I did not call you here today for a fashion show. So please truly test the performer of these parts. Like what she's wearing now. Oh, it doesn't look like a nurse hat though. Oh my, I had suddenly slipped into a sleep mode somehow. Perhaps I've been too tired. I had such a nostalgic feeling. My dream, matching hats? Was that truly was that truly a dream? That that person was I don't know how that got there. That wasn't there before though. I finally hold. Whoa, this voice could it be? Neptune, you're here! I'm so glad you're alright. Sorry for worrying you, but it's good to see you all fine and dandy too. When you disappeared from the area, we were all incredibly worried. On top of that, no one remembered us, a CPU anymore either. What's going on? I was hoping you'd know. I'm super clueless. I see. With this, both of Planet to CPU are finally together. Welcome home, Gigi! Thank you. By the way, Nebge, would you happen to know what's going on with Noir and the others? Hmm, it's been so crazy over here but I kept up a little bit. Noir is being held in the last station basilica and you're trying to break her out. Roman Rama just searched, just reached Louis and have been searching for Blanc, but they don't seem to be having much luck. And I think in Lima, there's a panic over a demon lord having to resurrect it, or something to that effect. Hang on a second, Kir. How do you know so much? Even as a member of the guild, I don't know any information, any of that information. Why? Well, I had modified my cell phone along with Uni so we could contact each other through radio. With Noir and Louis, I just happened to in intercept the transmission through the radio. And for the box, I might have done a little teeny bit of hacking. Oh, my pride as a guild member. Cheer up, Ivy. To think that Ned Jr. had hardware nerd tendency would end up overtaking Ivy's in the gathering. My smaller sibling is to be feared. <laughs> You're exaggerating, Neptune. Since I became an acutely aware of how dependent you were on the Zero Dimension, I want to modify yourself for just in case. But will Bird be okay all by herself? That definitely is something to consider. In fact, the only nation without a CPU candidate. As much as I'm itchy to go help out Bird, I can abandon Planet June. Hmm. I know. Hey Neptune, would you be a pal and go to Limba for a bit? For a bit to help up her broke arm, burnt out. Me? What the hell, Ned? Really? Now of all times? Yeah, that's weird. You finally just got to meet up with Gigi. I know. I know G Gigi, and I'm sure she really wanted to get back together with you. I understand, and that all. That and all. And really, I wanted to see Nebge, but true, but it's, this is something only she can do. When I first came to Planet, I didn't have anyone to rely on, and it was real tough. But now he's the Ivy and Kappa remember me. Ivy is just the three of them. I was finally able to feel like I'd be fine. So please, Nep Nep Jr. Nep Jr. go help our bird. Okay, I'll do it. Are you sure you're okay with this, Gigi? You were just reunited with Nep Nep. I am a little sad to part even if we just met up again. But I can be so soft when all the game is in trouble. It's not like we'll never see each other again. So I'll make up for the time lost later by spending it with Neptune. Jeez, you were so clingy to Neb before this. When did you decide to suddenly grow up? You kinda sound like a dad watching his kid turn into an adult in me. You got this stronger, Neb Jr. I'm sure it all takes to lose me. Because I was left behind in third dimension, that time I think I it was like I can't like this like now. For real Z's, then we'll have to take Uzume. Okay then Neptune, I'll be going now. You're already leaving? It's a little too fast, isn't it? Take a break before you go. 
I really do want to, but I do want to hurry and be, be of some help to Bert. Besides, if I'm here for Elena, I think my determination might waver. Take good care of Bert then, Junior. Leave it to me. I'll try my best to support her. I don't think that's a good idea though. And she's gone. Are you sure this was, this was alright, Nefnef? Of course, it's a little painful, but it's like that Junior said, we can't be soft right now, we have to help the world. Are you really sure though? Gear is already a personal favorite of Lady Bird, so if she comes to the rescue, she might want Gear as a sister even more. She might try and distract herself from loneliness. Loneliness with Bird. and distract herself from learning the first. That's pretty likely. Lady Bird then might use that opening to get her her then and there. What? That's not good at all. I can still catch up with the junior now, right? I'm gonna go I'm gonna go stop her. You were the one you're the one who suggested it in the first place. Maybe Nep Nep was the one who needed independence from her sister. Affimax? No, that's not it. Remember that game shop that was just robbed? Apparently, someone just tried to sell a huge lot of stolen consoles and games at another shop. Doesn't get more suspicious than that. Then we can find the culprit using their ID! Well, unsurprisingly, when asked for their ID, they refused and ran off. Suspicious. But the person had some distinct features. So it's only a matter of time before they're caught. Well, by person, I mean mouse. Mouse? Is that TV? The thief was a mouse? Probably, probably the, that mouse, the same mouse. Yep, and from the description, that mouse is probably... Hmm, look like I thought I'd be the same thing. From all the other games. Well, it wasn't River 2. I saw it there. And River 3. I don't know about River 1. I can't remember. Well, let me explain. This rat's name is Warachu, and he's a small time villain causing all sorts of trouble around the world. Having fallen head over heels for Kampa in an earlier encounter, he's been dealing with this unrequited love for quite some time now. Well, I'm sure it'll stay unrequited forever after this. You're not hurt, are you, Mr. Mouse? No, I'm fine, too. This is nothing compared to enduring the brute strength of those pesky CPUs. But I'm not important, Kappa. Are you injured, too? Even if you've been severely wounded, I'd still marry you, so don't worry, too. Uh, I haven't changed at all. <laughs> so good at telling jokes. 
I'm not injured, so you can rest easy. I I see. In a way, that's disappointing. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, it's been a while, Mr. Mouse. Why are you here in Planetune today? It's... To resell stolen games, isn't it? All right, book them, Nepo. You're Neptune. Nepo or Neptune. We know you were trying to resell the merchandise you stole from a used games shop. How in the heck? But I didn't even show my ID in case my identity would be exposed. The suspect pool shrinks dramatically when a mouse is suspected. You're the only one who seems to commit any crimes. To think my popularity would come back to bite me. I'm not sure it was your popularity that did you in just now, little dude. <laughs> that rat just licked my fingers. <laughs> Where'd you lick Aya's finger? Ew. An opening to... <laughs> oh, crap. What are you doing, Iffy? Hey, he licked my fingers. That's disgusting and dirty. Gosh dang it. If we don't hurry, that dirty rat's going to get away. gonna show up. Hmm? That girl? Hold it right there! There she is! Whoa! Choose. With the mass! The heavens, the earth, the people all call! They summon me to defeat the wicked! Listen up, evildoer! Who in the hay is that? I think I know that kid from somewhere. I am the hero known as Presto Mask! Presto Mask? To cause a child to cry is inexcusable! I will deliver swift justice! What the hell is with this loser wearing that stupid mask? If you won't move, I'll have to move you by force. I don't think that's a good idea, are you? I won't allow it! Take this! My special move, Presto Kick! Ow! Bye-bye! Some people are just too proud to admit their own mistakes. Thank you, Presto Matt. Thank you so much. How can we ever repay you? I only did what's expected of a hero of justice. You don't need to thank me, ma'am. The epitome of a hero. How cool is that? So you're the ones chasing after that mouse? That's right. Hmm, never seen your face before. Then, as a first-time service, I'll lower the price to 1,000 credits. 1,000 credit? That's, that's a little bit high, even for me. What? Did you just say 1,000 credits? Oh, I forgot to mention, but she takes money from anyone who's not a kid. No way. How can there be such a greedy hero? I don't even have any money. No money? Jeez, what a bum. Well, for this one time, and one time only, I'll treat it as a first-time free trial. But you better pay up properly next time, in advance, too. I'll see you all another time, then. Farewell! Uh... Nep, you look more confused than a doggoo bouncing around a leaf guard. Confused than a doggoo? Iffy, a hero just demanded money for her services. I feel like I just entered the Twilight Zone. Hey, you're always saying how the people of game industry should think outside the box more. That kid's about as outside the box as they come. 
you. Oh, you still here? Mr. Mouse is very out of it. Out of it? Iffy, would it be okay if I took him back to the Basilicon and fixed him up a bit? Geez, Kampa, he's a thief, you know. Besides, the police wouldn't... But I can't just leave him out here. Look at him. He's just lying there unconscious on the ground. Oh, he was kicked, though. I understand how you feel, but come on. Iffy, I second Kampa's motion. Let's get him healed up. You too, Nap? It's not like we're complete strangers. We can throw him a bone, right? Besides, he's a little guy, but his network's probably pretty big. We might be able to get some more info about Affimax's next move. Well, I guess that's true. Not a bad idea coming from you, Nep. Oh, I know, right? Okay, so we'll hold him at the Basilicom temporarily as an important witness. <laughs> with this rat. You? Where am I? I thought I finally awake, huh? You! You're the lackey of the CPU! Who the hell's a lackey? Is that what you think of me? You're off to a bad start, pal. What are you planning to do by capturing me like this, too? Oh no, I must be the number four mouse from the cheese board. 100 charge trying to erase me from the number 3 position? Stop shouting nonsense. It's Kompa you should be thanking. She brought you to the Basilica so she could take care of your injuries. Otherwise, you'd be in a cell right now. Is that right, you? I knew Kompa was an angel. Kompa's usually very kind, but this is the reality of her to bring you here. Does that mean Kompa thinks I'm a special I'm special too? Who knows? But you better not do anything to make her sad, alright? Me? Make Kampa sad? Well, she definitely wouldn't be thrilled about your criminal record. As of late. I see you. I did wash my hand of evil for some time. I've been living peacefully by selling bootleg copies of games, but... Bootlegs? That's not w washing your hands at all. Well, whatever, Chew. Well, whatever. Where's Kampa? I'd like to thank her personally, Chief. She should be returning soon. We're home! Ippy, how's Mr. Mouth doing? Kampa! I think she answered that one for ya. I'm glad you're feeling better, but now that you've learned your lesson, you better stop doing bad things, okay? You're right, Chief. I'm sure you remember when I was working as the AI ASIC mascot too. Ever since it disbanded, I've been selling copied games, trying to save up enough money just to get by. I think I might have reached the end of the road for far, far as an evil con concern too. Ippy, have I ever told you that I believe people who legally copy games should serve a life sentence in prison? You're right. It might be a good idea to throw him in a cell so we eliminate the chances of him causing more, any more trouble. Wait a sec, you! At least let me finish telling my life story in Solomon, Solemnity. Then along with the turning over a new leaf, we'll have you give us all the information you have related to your crimes. Heh, <laughs> sorry but no can do it, you! I ain't no snitch! I'll never sell out my friend! Mr. Mao, we're chasing after a secret organ called Affimax. It would be great you give some, yeah, give us some any information you have. Oh, okay, that's easy too. You're giving it off. The bird compass magical words. I'll show you just how great and mighty my network is, Compa. Nips internally. He just told us he wasn't gonna sell out his friends. What's going on? Either this rat is a total pushover, or Compa has some kind of magical powers. I just Honestly though, I'm a bit surprised. I never expected a two-bit criminal like you would have eaten Avimax. Of course, 
I would. I'm a member of the fight organization after all. What? But let me tell you what happened so far. The small time Brad bit was actually a member of the secret organization we were following. You guys think I don't know what I'm talking about? You're right. I don't know what's going on at all. It isn't something like hypnosis or super speed though. What I experienced was just a tip of the iceberg. I can do what they mean by ball from the blue. So tell us, who else is the organization? What are they plotting here in the station? Oh, oh, and I'd like to know... I'd like to know Arbor's identity. Arbor. One at a time, Paul. One at a time. I can answer all you at once. Alright, so I'll go first. Tell me who the other members of Admax are. There are five of us, too. Well, technically, it's four and another. It's smaller than I thought. Duh, we're not really a secret organization after all, too. People say you're a secret organization, but you're really not? What do you mean? The media just started calling a secret organization, and it stopped. And, you know, the only one of sitting thing is the old hag. You mean our four? She got the same name as the DT of Sin we fought before. Sin we fought before. But who is she? What is her objective? Dunno. I got curious too, but when I tried to investigate, none of my associates seem to know anything about it too. All I know for certain is that she's looking for a game console with a swirl mark on it. Console with a swirl mark? Swirl mark, huh? Nah, it couldn't be. I see, so that's why you all keep trying to steal game consoles. Yeah, but we got to come up empty handed too. Alright, next question. Tell me more about the other de members. Don't forget to say what their roles are either. I have to say that too? It's the most important part. I'm still feeling like I don't really want to be a snitch and sell all my friends to out too. Yep, you blab about Amber pretty easily. That old bag treats me like crap, and she's an exception too. Ding dong. Ding dong, ding dong. Business call, business call. Um, Neptune, I have been called, but please come to the audience room ASAP. This has to be a business call. Ding dong, ding dong. It's rare for Bisha to call us. Bisha is this nation's good. Nation's gold third, right? I couldn't forget until now. Correct. She's part of the group that defeated you during exhibition match, as well as the Preston match who just saved us. Are you real? Are you for real? Are you telling me you hadn't realized it? Yep. I thought she was just some kind of cyborg hero created by a mysterious organization, or you know something. I can't believe you. Who did you tell by looking all the systems? Know it too. She is obvious to it, but everybody knows. She's always loitering around pretending to be a hero, but she's this nation's head person and contributes to public service. Although she is incredibly greedy. Wow, for people to continue creating that illusion for the sake of happiness, it's the first time I've built such a real warmth. By the way, B, what are you going to do with Mr. Mouse? Hmm, for now, let's put him in a cage. So I still end up in the cell anyway, too. So why, too? Too? That voice is... It is... It is I. I've come to save you, so why, too? That... That you, Steve Max? You are a lifesaver, too. I'm going quite surprised you made it here. Alas, I cannot be better than my ability. Do not stand out of the crowd. I don't think that's something you should be so proud of, too. No matter. The general is concerned about you. Let us escape now. How long is this? Here I am! To save the day, Neptune appears. We have been waiting for you. Good. Of you to come, Neptune. I have been seeing you since the exhibition match. Yeah, you're the pay to save hero. He? Then maybe you're thinking of someone else. No way! Anybody will figure out that this guy out so easily. As if I ever see you to think you would see through my perfect disguise. You don't know until now. Huh? Do you remember that I'm a CPU? Of course! I also know you've been helping out a few things. 
But that's not only I call you for here today. I want you guys to go to another city ASAP. Another city in the neighboring city, right? Did something happen? It's currently under attack by a horde of delusionary monsters. Please, you must hurry and save them. So that's why you call us three, two, three of us. Exactly right. Please help us out. On the subject of this discussion, Risha, I will lead you along. I will have you go along as well. What? Me too. But if this if this nation's gold third were to leave it unprotected, would that cause problem? I am the ruler of this nation right now. You know, there will be no issue. I have set up a current system just for this situation. Yeah, if this nation was gonna go to crap just because its ruler was out, it would implode during Neptune's rule. So that means this thing is still standing thanks to me and not getting involved, alright? Neptune, that wasn't a compliment. Every moment counts as there are least lives on the line. I will have you all to go to Han Hanaito City immediately. Okay. I'm not going to scratch my beautiful skin. Oh, that's a good scout. Hey, that's done. Like I said, I've got to be outside, so again, this is the next part of the video. So, this is Dragon Frank, signing out. Goodbye!